I am making access with a number four surgical length round burr. I gain access to the pulp chamber at approximately seven millimeters of depth. In any tooth that does not have an attrition occlusal surface, seven millimeters of depth brings the burr into the center of the pulp chamber. Once the depth is gained, the next effort is in making the occlusal access wide enough so the entire floor of the pulp chamber is clearly visible. While we want adequate access, we don't want to remove any more coronal tooth structure than is necessary. As you can see here, the mesiobuccal canal is hidden under the mesiobuccal cusp, and the distal buccal cusp still appears to be hidden under some distal buccal tooth structure. We are slowly removing overhanging dentin and enamel to more clearly visualize the entire floor of the pulp chamber. At this stage, after extending the axis laterally and lightly dusting the floor with the number four long shank high speed round burr, the mesiobuccal canal with its lingual extension of tissue is clearly seen as well as the orifice of the distobuccal canal. With a little more dusting of the floor, the orifices of the canals are visualized with increasing clarity. I work the mesiobuccal groove of tissue a little deeper to see if the mesiobuccal tissue will be one canal or branch off to two or more. Irrigation with sodium hypochlorite helps digest tissue remnants as well as remove any dentinal dust present, giving me the ability to probe the canals with an explorer. Here you see me looking for an MB2 with an 08 reamer. I follow this up with the placement of a 0 .10 reamer in the mesiobuccal 1 canal. After going through the sequence of instruments through a 20, I opened the canals coronally with a tapered piezo to straighten any coronal curves that are present. There is an isthmus between MB1 and MB2 that I check with an explorer to make sure it is hard tissue, not harboring an additional canal, that it is not in an additional space where a sheath of tissue exists. Probing with a rema only allows me to remove a small amount of extra tissue on one of the walls. I do not find a probable space.